You're listening to KSG Podcast. This is a short, crisp, precise, exam-oriented, edited editorial for civil services aspirants. In this podcast, we are going to talk about India's first steel slag road. Source for the content is Kamal Sayyid's article for the Indian Express. Surat has become the first city in the country to get a processed steel slag or industrial waste road built as part of a joint venture project by the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, CSIR, Central Road Research Institute, CRRI, Union Ministry of Steel, Government Think Tank, Nidhi Aayog, and Asala Mittal Nippon Steel at Hazira. Now, what is the project all about? The six-lane public road is a kilometer-long stretch in Hazira Industries, which also houses the AMNS plant, that is Asala Mittal Nippon Steel plant. The construction began around a year ago by converting mounds of steel waste into steel slag aggregate. The sixth and final lane of the road, with a three-lane to-and-fro carriageway on either side, was completed in early March. The road is now being used by heavy-duty vehicles of multinationals located in the industrial estate on the outskirts of Surat. According to CRRI principal scientist Satish Pandey, the construction cost of the processed steel slag road is 30% cheaper than roads built from natural aggregates. Pandey said the thickness of the road is also 30% lesser than normal ones, while the durability is much longer due to the utilization of steel slag. This project falls under the initiative of the Waste to Wealth and Clean India campaign. Now, talking about the process, the slag is generated from a steel furnace burning at around 1500 to 1600 degrees centigrade in the form of molten flux material as an impurity. The molten material is poured into the slag pits for cooling as per the customized procedure and further processed to develop stable steel slag aggregates with better material properties in place of the natural aggregate commonly used in road constructions. According to the Indian Road Congress guidelines for construction of a heavy traffic road that is capable of taking the load of 1,000 to 1,200 trucks per day, around 600 to 700 millimeter thickness of road layers are required on the foundation with 8% CBR, that is California bearing ratio. According to Pandey, in comparison to normal highways, the ones made out of steel slag are 30% less thick because of better material characteristics. He said that the construction of costs of such steel slag roads will also be around 30% cheaper. The Hazira road uses around 1 lakh tons of processed steel slag. The CRRI will now prepare guidelines and specifications for the utilization of steel slag in road construction. Pandey informed that the parameters and performance indicators will be incorporated in the road guidelines and will be given to Indian Road Congress, Ministry of Roads and Highways, to utilize steel slag for the constructions of national highways. Now, talking about the load test, over 30 heavy-loaded trucks use the carriageway on a daily basis. The steel slag road, which is also part of a research study, has been constructed using instrumented test sections comprising strain gauges, pressure cells, displacement gauges and thermocouples to measure load-induced deformation and stress and strain in the pavement areas. Pandey says, we are also monitoring the temperature variation in the pavement layer using thermocouples, says Pandey, while adding that CSIR, CRRI, will further monitor its uh, performance for another one year. Now, why has it been done at Hazira? The Hazira road in Surat was chosen because of the proximity to the AMNS steel plant and the availability of heavy traffic on the road for study purposes. This stretch was already in a dilapidated condition and is now rebuilt using the processed slag aggregates as per the riding standard of a goods highway. Experts have said that these roads are also much more durable during the monsoon. AMNS produces around 2 million tons of steel slag annually, which can be utilized for the construction of roads. Now, are these roads cost-effective and good for the environment? Surat Municipal Corporation, that is SMC Road Development Department officials say the utilization of processed steel slag in road construction paves the way for sustainable use of waste and reduces the reliance on perishable natural aggregates. This process is also expected to reduce GHG emissions 
and carbon footprint in road construction activity and is in line with India's commitment to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal No. 9 for building resilient infrastructure through inclusive and sustainable industrialization in green technologies. Executive Engineer at SMC's Roads Development Department, B.R. Bhatt, said the approximate construction cost per square meter of a processed steel slack road is 1,150 rupees as against 1,300 rupees for a bitumen road and 2,700 rupees for cement or a concrete one. The lifespan of a cement or concrete road is over 30 years, while that of bitumen and uh, steel slag road is around 15 years. According to Bhatt, the upper surface of the road will be around 1 to 2 degrees higher in mid-afternoon when compared to regular ones. Thermocouple has been used to maintain the temperature of the outer surface of the road. However, the carbon footprint for such roads is much lower, as the ones built using natural aggregates are mined and processed. Besides, after mining and crushing, the material also needs to be transported from one place to another. When it comes to steel slag road, there is no blasting, drilling or crushing as the material is waste coming out of a steel industry, which is processed and converted to the form of aggregate material used for construction. But explains that the utilization of waste steel slag for road constructions reduces pollution created by heaps of waste dumped nearby. The particles of steel waste also get into the air and even seep into the ground, reaching the underground water table. Coming to the impact of such roads on their vehicles, experts say that the effect on tyres would be negligible. Bhatt says that the steel slag melts at over 200 degrees Celsius, while the temperature during peak summer in India is not above 45 degrees Celsius. Moreover, the upper layer is made up of bitumen layers. That's it for this podcast. Thank you so much for listening. To join KSG India courses and to crack the ICE exam, visit ksjindia.com. You can also get a PDF of this podcast on ksjindia.com. Thanks for listening.